Kate uh, was very uh, much involved in energy and renewables. She actually started um, her whole educational process very interested in physics. One uh, evening I came home and she, she said, I have a job uh, in the summer, about a week into the summer. So I, uh, I said, what'd you do? And she said, well, I went across the street and I looked at the marquee and said, who's the head of physics department? And knocked on the door and said, you have something for me to do for the summer. And from that, she went on to uh, work for NASA uh, on Hubble telescope data uh, with m uh, mapping of uh, mass in the universe. And then uh, she was actually doing astrophysics for several years in college. And that was sort of, she was thinking that was going to be her major. And then uh, really about her junior year, she decided to become an engineering and sort of decided that she wanted to do things that were more topical, of more topical importance to the world. So she. Uh, changed uh, building energy and you know environment and energy and buildings and actually beginning when she was at uh, Brown she was very interested in in uh, Nessie and was very involved in it. Well, Nessie for Kate was um, really a community I think uh, I would put it she she you know liked all the people in Nessie they all had the same ideals in mind and I, I think she liked the idea that it was it was a combination of academics and non-academics. You have a group of working people, you have a group of, of academic people, and they're, and they're really working f towards the same goals. And she found that Nessie was really a, a wonderful community of people that were very supportive uh, to her, and she felt like it was one of the most important supports she had. And from there, she just became more and more active and eventually ended up on the board and uh, came back to MIT and uh, was uh, remained active in Nessie. And at one point uh, she actually uh, asked one of the presidents at that point, and I, I can't remember his name, but he, um, he, he, uh, he, he, she asked him why there were few, few young people in, at Nessie. And he said, I really don't know. It's hard to get people. So she sort of took it on herself and I think it was, I think he said it was in a month or something like that, she she had 80 people herself. She get, she managed to get 80 people to join. That's the way she was. I mean, she just was, you know, very uh, very giving and um, y you know always wanted to help everybody else. Always going an extra mile to help everybody else. And you know, if you everybody thought she was brilliant, but if you asked her, she would say, "Oh no, I'm not." You know, I'm you know. It always reminds me of the old, uh, I can't remember exactly word for word, but the old Einstein um, quote that's, you know, he said, uh, you know, if you think you have problems in math, you should see mine. I'd love to see coming out of this fund, uh, Kate's legacy continue. That young professionals, uh, Kate's age, uh, with her interest and uh, motivation, would have a chance to carry on her legacy. I would hope that the Nessie community remembers her, Kate, for her, um, uh, you know, powerful drive and her love for what she did, and the the sense of community that she brought to everything. the The reason to support this fund, in simple terms, would be exactly what Kate said at one point, and I'll try to paraphrase it, was that um, the world's worth it.